Good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. If you did not see the Bitcoin video, I just got done with that. So make sure you guys do watch that. Alrighty, uh, let's uh, see what we were looking at yesterday and then we'll go today. <laughs> so yesterday I was looking at the bear's wedge formation in here. So uh, that did play out and I was looking for this to help us predict the drop. So we were sitting right about here yesterday and then we definitely ended up seeing the drop here. So I um, just want to show you guys an update from yesterday's video. Cool. We ended up seeing this drop. We're down here. We ended up breaking the ascending support line that I was just talking about yesterday that was definitely in play. And then um, we actually ended up breaking the second ascending support line and that dropped us down even further here. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the short trade of how you guys are currently doing. And we're going to look at the indicators and the metrics to tell us where we could be going, um, you know, by Friday. That's kind of like the goal in this video is going to be looking at Friday into the weekend. Um, we'll take a look. So let's get into this. Those of you guys in the short trade, let me update you really quickly. You guys are currently down at the moment, not 7.15. You actually need to divide this by two. So you're only down 3.0 seven five percent at the moment so only down 3.5 3.7 percent not much at all in order for this to break excuse me in order for this to break even we are looking for this to push down below 2818 um and then the exit for the short i have done here at 2638 the reason for that is because i do think if we head down here this will start triggering a lot of our trades for long entries, which makes me want to pull this up really quickly, guys. If you guys do not have this over here, make sure you guys are signed up with the membership. These entries are going to start going off very fast for Ethereum, for Bitcoin, for Cardano. I'm already into Cardano. Make sure you guys are managing that trade correctly. Guys, things are starting to happen. I know it was a long wait, but just like that, we're back into long trades and we're getting ready to ride this market back up. So that's why you always stay patient because just a matter of a few days before you're back into a long trade. So anybody who FOMO'd into this up here, I'm really sorry. This thing might keep heading down and we'll go over that today, but um, th that it was better to it was better to hold off and, and and be patient for the for the dip in my opinion so we'll go over that in a second okay let's take a look at this price versus well money flow and we're going to look at the trend exhaustion here and then we're going to get over to the metrics make sure you guys are looking at this this is very interesting we just now dipped down into the bottom red section of the trend exhaustion this has not happened for quite a while the last time we ended up hitting this was down here when we basically saw the initial move or the start of this bull run that just completely sent us out and just got everybody really excited. I made money on this. You guys made money on it. I'm sure a lot of people made money on it. But I want to point this out to say that this could be a place where we start seeing this stall out as far as a move down a little bit and maybe looking to come back up and retest the ascending support that we had now currently ascending resistance. It might pump back up. If it does, I'm looking for this to stall right around this area. And I'll give a call out here on around this price. About 3,170, we'll make this for fun, easy, 75. 3,175 is where I would be looking for this to stall out. This is what's called a classic break and retest formation for a move back down. And that's usually what happens is a break and a retest. Those of you guys who see bearish patterns break, that's usually what happens. So I'm definitely watching this on the chart here to see if that comes out and it plays into, into the, um, the chart today or in the next few days. Because if this happens, what we could be seeing is a trend exhaustion starting to move up here a little bit, as well as well money flow moving back into the market, giving the people you know a sense that this is gonna start heading back up and it could just crash right back down. And then that's where you know the short trades are are going to do really well as well as the long trades are going to be picked up so very crucial time to making sure you guys are having your trade set up and you are just prepared for this to go down more if it does let's take a look at the metrics because something is happening over here that you haven't seen for a while and it's, i'm pretty excited about it myself okay ethereum metrics these are going to update at 8 a.m pacific standard time you guys know this $49 a month, you guys get access to all this. Tradeconfident.io. It's in the description as well as the first comment of this YouTube video if you guys want the link for that. Okay, emotional index. We are now actually, guys, we made it into the neutral section. Woo, pretty cool. This, I am expecting, if we start coming over here and we start breaking down, we and like I said, we get that retest and then a bounce back down. Somewhere around this area, we could be coming down to structure low here, about 2,470. We'll just call it 2,500 for psychological quarters theory number. Just that's probably what's going to bounce. 2,500 is, is, is greater to bounce because it's a quarters theory psychological number. If we get down there, 
I'm expecting, I'm forecasting that we'll probably hit somewhere down here into the anxious, maybe, maybe get close to the fearful section. If that happens, guys, I'm very excited because that is where we are going to be getting all of our long trades in and where I place the long trades for the buy limits. Make sure you guys, again, go over here, front page, tradeconfident.io, go to live trades, scroll down, and then click right here. This is where your guys' live trades are at. All of those buy limits in there are set up perfectly for you guys to be able to get into this long trade with really good risk management, okay? Long versus short trades. Take a look at this. We are actually seeing short trades move out of the market here a little bit and then long trades moving sideways. So this tells me as short trades are moving out that short trades aren't as convinced that this thing's gonna keep heading up. But why do they do that? They take their short trades out of the market because they've usually already made profit on the short trades, okay? So make sure you guys are watching this metric as well. If we start seeing short trades move out here and long trades increase, that is a bullish sign that Ethereum could be heading up by Friday or over the weekend, okay? Uh, long for short trade risk, we are now pushing into the neutral section. You guys can see that right here with the blue line metric. We are now into neutral. If this starts pushing anywhere, guys, if this metric gets anywhere down into the good long trade or the great long trade section, this is like gold for us who are have these metrics and we're watching this and we're staying consistent and staying patient. This is gonna be amazing. Now, I am not picked up on Ethereum yet. I'll be totally honest with you guys about that. Let me show you guys my account real quick so you guys can see this. Um, I did get picked up on ADA, which I need to show you guys the field. So ADA did get picked up here at $1.92. And then um, the open positions are all right here for ADA. I do have my sell limit in here, but I'll do a video on that. Um, but the point being, all of my buy limits for Ethereum are already set up in here. And you guys wanna make sure you're watching the chart over here because those lines do update um, and they are dynamic, so they're not gonna stay the same. Okay, well, institutional smart money. Guys, we finally, we finally got a little bit of a metric printing on the top side here, which does tell me that this is showing me that smart money is shifting their perspective over to long trades. This totally makes sense because we are now seeing what I would consider a more healthy, higher low formation. And if you guys go to the daily time frame, this is what I've been looking for for quite a while here. The run up of 13 green candles in a day, it's never happened on any crypto before, literally making history um, in the last you know three, four weeks. And we now finally have a healthy higher low formation. Guys, I am bullish on crypto, absolutely. If this thing's gonna head up, it needed to have a healthy higher low formation. And I do believe that's what we saw here. I, I, there is a, a strong case here that this could keep heading down, and we'll go over that in a second here. Um, but we are seeing smart money is moving back over to the long trades. Guess what? The moment this triggered over and said, you know, smart money is going long, we are now getting into our long positions. Very good metric to be following, and I think we have something amazing over here. Okay, support resistance prices. Let's take a look at this. If Ethereum starts dropping out, dropping out, dropping out, this is how you guys read this. Visually, look down. Where do you guys see an accumulation of a lot of support resistances? Right around this area is where I would say, I'm gonna encompass the, the prices here, but this is where I'd be looking at. Specifically in the lines is right around in this area. So it's right around 2,700, so 2,700. And I'm also gonna be looking over here at this 24.5. So break this in the middle. I would say the psychological quarters theory number of 2,000, 500 is a very good place to be looking in here, which puts us right around this structure high. Let me get this exactly on the chart here. Excuse me, structure low actually, um, right on this chart right here. So right around this area is where we could see this drop out to and then see a very nice bounce. So if I had to call, like you guys are gonna ask me, Travis, how low do you think this could go? Um, from a technical analysis perspective and you know, from money flow, 2,500 is a possibility. Um, if it heads down there, I'm gonna be very excited because that means probably two of our buy limits got picked up and then we can ride it up after that. So, oh, this is just gonna get, but I, I'm, I'm so excited we're in long trades right now because I think we're gonna do great. Um, all right, uh, everybody who bought into the dollar cost average entries, obviously you guys are doing ridiculously well. So good job. Hold hold your trades if you guys are just using this metric um, to get out of trades. Uh, this is very good sign too. We have we don't have any red bars, guys. We're in the clear. So everybody who's gonna be triggered into these long trades coming up here, um, you know, you're doing really well. Once we start seeing these the, the start to print red bars in here, that's when I'm like, okay, maybe we should start looking for maybe a 25 to 50% exit for our long trades. Until that happens, guys, we are in the clear. We are looking for buy limits to be picked up here and to ride Ethereum back up. So 
most crucial thing, guys, is to make sure you guys do have your membership over here. I'm sorry if, I, if it sounds like I'm pumping this too much, but honestly, this is how you guys access this. How I, it's how I pay for the, the business expenses, and I think you guys will do really well with this. It's $49 a month. You guys get access, and make sure you guys are setting this up. Literally, right now, today, you can come over here to Ethereum and set up all of your guys' buy limits, set up your sell limits once your buy limits get hit, and make sure you guys, if you want to, set up all your other trades in here because Cardano already got picked up, and I'll be doing that in the next video here. So God bless you guys so, so much. I hope you have just an amazing day and I will keep you guys updated. Let's see what happens. Are we going to go down to 2,500 or could we actually blast back up here and maybe come up to about the 3,500 area? Which one's going to be hit first? That's what we got to see. But it's looking like there's more of a chance of hitting 2,500 than we're going to hit 3,500 first. So that's my call in this video, but I will keep you guys updated. And once more metrics come out, that will give us a better sign of what we could see. So make sure you guys are following. Indicators are in the description. They're going up September 1st. The prices are going up September 1st. So you guys have about 13 more days. Make sure you guys get this on your chart. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. All right, guys, have a good one. Um, videos coming out more today. And then uh, the next few days, I will be coming out with videos. If my wife and I are in the hospital for our baby, I need a couple days off, but then I'll be back with you guys. I take Sunday and Monday off, excuse me, Saturday and Sunday. So at latest, I will see you guys on Monday. But if we don't go into labor, then I'll be on here every single morning and Follow the metrics, follow the indicators. Everything will be updated on the website. So this will never not be updated. This will always be updated, all the metrics as well as the live trade. So you technically don't even need me on the videos, but for those of you guys who missed me, I appreciate that. And I'll be back on as soon as possible. So there you guys go. Snag the indicators and the membership and I'll keep you guys updated on YouTube. All right, God bless you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.